Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I apply false lashes, just my routine, the things that I do. Now this video was requested, so that's why we're doing this today. Also keep in mind that my camera broke, so I am using my iPhone to film this. So I'm not really sure as far as like the angles and everything like that. I wish I could get super close and personal so that you guys can just see everything step for step but i did the best that i can do the goal is for you guys to be able to just take something away from this and apply it to your everyday routine or if you're someone who is new to putting on false lashes hopefully you learn something uh, whether it's through the visual or just what i'm saying i really want you guys to take my method and just apply it to your own that way we can all just be better at applying false lashes so before we get into the tutorial i just want to go over the products that you are going to need to have a successful lash application the first thing you'll need is any kind of lash curler so it doesn't matter what you have this is just the one that i have i actually have two different kinds this one and the purple one but i really love this one i don't know it just seems to curl better so definitely make sure you have a lash curler the purpose of this is just to make sure that you're curling your lashes so that way they kind of mimic the style of your false lashes especially if you have straight lashes so you don't want your lashes to be like this and then the false lashes to be like this because then it's not going to look as natural as possible so to curl the lashes is pretty important especially to those who have straight lashes so you're going to need some type of lash glue or adhesive it could be black it could be clear whichever you prefer um, if you are a beginner i do recommend you start off using a clear adhesive um, it's more accident prone versus the black adhesive the black adhesive if you stick the lash somewhere by accident and have to move it that black line is going to stay there and unless you like wipe it away or whatever but the clear glue if you do get lash glue somewhere other than where it's supposed to be it'll dry down clear and you won't even see that it was ever there i prefer a clear glue like this one this is the duo glue and this is a brush on adhesive also purchasing an adhesive with a wand is easier to manage in my opinion it's easier to just brush that glue on the lash as you need it and as precisely as you need it some people tend to put glue on the back of their hand and run their lash band through it to me i feel like that's a waste of group glue and a waste of product so i don't prefer that method but do whatever suits you so you will definitely need some type of tweezers whether that's the original tweezers that you use to tweeze your eyebrows or the tweezers that are meant for false lashes i like to use a combination of both i like to use the false lash one to put the lash on my eye and then the original one just to make sure that i'm squeezing them together and things like that and also these ones in specific how they have like this point to them so that way it's easier for me to take the lash out of the packaging when it's fresh and new and i'm using new lashes but any pair of tweezers that you have is fine whatever works best for you and you feel comfortable with use it scissors are optional or only necessary i should say when you have a new fresh set of lashes in today's tutorial i did use a new set of lashes so i did utilize the scissors but on a normal everyday basis i don't always use a fresh pair of lashes every single day so i don't always need them but you do need them to cut them down to size when you're first using them you could use regular scissors or you could use the little eyebrow hair scissors that you use to trim your eyebrows i prefer the smaller ones that way i can get a little bit more precise with my cutting and i'm not cutting off too much also one thing i do want to mention is when you are cutting your lash you want to make sure you're cutting from the band and down not from the actual lashes up because you could make the mistake of actually cutting the false lash 
You also want to make sure you have your favorite pair of lashes. Today I didn't use my favorite pair of lashes. Like I said, I wanted to use a fresh set for this tutorial. So I decided to try out these Official Mink Lashes in Sweetheart. I do love the Dreamer ones or the Style Dreamer from Official Mink Lashes, which I have featured on my channel before. But today we are rocking a different style. This is Sweetheart. To me, they seem a little bit more light on the eyes and they're not as dramatic as the Dreamer ones, but they're still very nice lashes. There are different sizes in lash bands. Some are thicker than others. These are the Style Dreamer. I have them in this beautiful packaging from Lashaholic, but these are not Lashaholic lashes. But as you can see, the band is a little bit thicker versus these Ardell Wispies, which are definitely thinner. And honestly, these are actually called invisible lashes almost because they have like the little beads where the lash, all the lashes meet into like a knot, so little knots across it. And as a beginner, I would recommend you starting off with a lash band that's more like this versus like this. Um, but lash bands vary from lash to lash just depending on the brand, the lashes, the style, etc. Again, if you are a beginner, I do recommend you start off with a thinner lash band. That way it's easier to apply and definitely more comfortable on your lashes. If you start off with a thicker band and you've never worn lashes before, it's gonna be super heavy to you and probably uncomfortable. Also with the thicker lash, the inner corners and outer corners oftentimes lift. So you gotta make sure that you're like putting the right amount of adhesive onto the lash band and sticking it down that way it stays throughout the day and also you do have to shape the thicker lash bands to fit the shape of your eye because again they are heavier and sometimes if they're not tacked down correctly they'll either lie straight across on your lash or they'll just be lifted up and you don't want either one of those to happen. So the last two products are optional and the first one is this black liner. Now, I didn't use a black liner in the tutorial because I will probably just be taking these lashes off after this video because I do want to wash my hair. But this black liner can be used to tighten your upper waterline and what it does is make the lashes and your lashes seem more natural and seem more as one. Um, that way, if you have any little space in between, like your lashes and your natural lashes, the false lashes and your natural lashes, uh, this will kind of help, you know, make it seem more closed versus being open. Because not only will you wa uh, tight line your upper water line, but you'll, you can also like stick it in between to those open spaces if you don't feel like taking your lashes off and putting them back on all over again. Then finally, you have mascara. Now, many, I won't say everyone, but many people do use mascara. I am one of those people. I did use mascara in my tutorial. But when it comes to mascara and the step in which you put the mascara on just differs from person to person. I like to put it on before I put on my false lashes. Some people like to put it on after. And then you have those people who like to do it before and after false lashes. But it's all up to you what you wanna do, what you're more comfortable with. My idea on putting mascara on prior to putting my false lashes on is so that if I were to get glue on my actual lashes, I have some kind of barrier between my natural lash and the glue, so that way it's not as hard to get off. But you wanna try to avoid getting lash glue on your lashes because the more that it happens, then um, eventually your lashes are gonna become weak and fall off or be pulled off in the process of you taking off your false lashes. Just keep in mind that everyone's lash application as well as their lashes and what they can handle is different from person to person, so it varies. This is just my process and what I find works best for me. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the tutorial portion of this video. With your eyelash curler, you just wanna curl your lashes and what I like to do is just hold it on my eye for about a count of 10 so I just count to 10 in my head and then I'll move to the next eye so 
So again, I am using the official mink lashes in the style Dreamer. These are their links just in case you want to purchase some of your own. But moving on, I'm just showing you guys how to determine which lash goes to which eye. You want to make sure you're holding your package like this and not turn it around and look at it like that because then you'll end up putting the wrong lash on the wrong eye. So in order to measure out your lashes, you need to place them on top of your natural lashes, kind of measure them out and whatever is remaining on the side is what you're going to want to clip off. So you put it on your eye to measure it out and to determine exactly how much you want to take off your lash instead of just eyeballing it. Also make sure that you're cutting from the lash band down or in my case up and not from the actual lashes into the lash band because then you can mistakenly cut one of the lashes of the falsies. When coating your lashes with the adhesive you want to be sure that you are getting a good layer on there and you're really hitting those outer corners that way they don't lift or not stick when you put them on your lashes. The reason I put these two steps together is because by the time I'm done applying mascara to both my eyelashes, my lash glue should be nice and tacky and ready for me to use. You want to be sure that you're letting it dry at least 20 seconds or so to get tacky before applying it to your eye because that could just mess everything up. So you're going to want to place your tweezers in the middle of your lashes and then you're going to want to hold your mirror to cover your mouth and your nose and your hand should be in front of you and then you're going to place the lash down closest to your lash line then using the tweezers you're going to place the outer corner first and then place the inner corner. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys found it helpful and are able to take something from it today and just apply it to your everyday lash application. If you have any other questions that I may not have answered with this video, definitely leave them down below and I will be more than happy to answer them for you, but I feel like I pretty much covered everything. Again, my camera is broke, so I'm using my iPhone and I really, really hope that if you weren't able to understand visually that you were able to understand verbally. If you like this video, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up before you go. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video or vlog, whichever one comes first.